If you were looking for some hippie shit to heal the body, I found some. I found it. I've been healing myself since I was like 26 years old, 13 years now. We're getting there. It's not perfect, but I'm happy with I, any human being on the planet right now could accomplish any feat with my health. I'm there. I feel good. Things are good. Just minor nitpicks. Teenage girl skin. Could it be upon us? Not really. Almost. Diet is my main focus, admittedly way too focused on it. So that's like 91% of my healing protocol. And then I'm looking for other areas like the Q-Link. So Q-Link and its abilities. I feel a difference wearing that. Links are down below, of course. There's no sale right now. You'll have to pay full price, but, and I will make a commission, a handy one. Thank you for doing it. These purple plates, Tesla purple plates I bought, I don't know if they do much. It's hard to tell on that one. I might've got sold hard on that one. They're fun to look at. They, they look, they feel like they do something, but I can't guarantee it. So fasting, diet, positive thinking, mind powers, exercise, monkey strength, of course. So there's many different things other than diet to heal yourself. I found a new one. Touch the earth, you dickhead. You've probably heard the term tree hugger. That's, they misinformation to you. Hippies used to be with it and they would hug trees they knew they were grounding. And then the CIA came in and like, oh, hippies are bad, oh, they do drugs. They didn't, well, maybe a little bit. Don't quote me on that. So grounding, I've known about this for years. I used to walk more barefoot on the ground. It, you can feel it immediately. It's one of those things, you just take your shoes and socks off, walk on the grass and you just feel it. It's like this calmness. But now we have science. I bought a meter, I bought a pad, not a maxi pad. We're gonna test some things, not the maxi pad. I'll test it in another video. Here's the mat I bought. Thankfully my cat hasn't chewed through the cord yet, but this little white cord goes into, it works with the power bar. It doesn't have to be straight into an outlet. So it's just plugged into the grounding cord. I'll leave links down below for all this stuff, the mat and the meter, if you wanna test it yourself, and the bed sheet, of course. You will last 14 seconds longer, man. It's proven. Not for me personally, but it could happen theoretically. I'll leave. I bought one of these pads years ago, like almost in the beginning of my journey. I was probably like 27, 28, and I heard about this. I was like, okay, let's buy one. I felt something weird with it, but at my house, the electrical wiring, like it was crossed. I bought one of those. You have to buy this plug tester, and then it should light up properly to show, okay, this is grounded, and the top two are in the right order. Mine was neither, so I tried it anyway. And I was feeling like this buzz. I think I was just electrocuting myself, and then my cat chewed through the wire, and I was like, that one, I needed that. There's no replacements. So that dream died hard, and I concluded that at the time, walking on the earth, I felt the benefit, but this like fake thing that, oh yeah, just plug it into the grounding, like that's not gonna work. Humans have not figured that out, but now we have a way to test it. I bought a voltage meter. This thing measures the AC current in your body and you wouldn't believe. I have one of those EMF meters that measure and I thought I was safe until I measured with this. I'm not safe anywhere. So let's go do some tests. I have a grounding sheet in the bedroom. I'll show you the effects and then we'll go outside, ground myself in the earth and show you some interesting things. Cause if you have shoes, you suck at life. Okay, so how you do this, one of the, the black cord has to be grounded and then you touch the red one to measure your voltage. So it came with another cord, but it wasn't working. So I just got this metal skewer. You stick right in the socket. <laughs> just don't stick it in the top two. It's gotta be the grounded one or you'll die. So try not to die and my cat's gonna ruin my life. I was scared to do that. And at first I was like, ah, oh, should I be doing this? Okay, you seeing this at zero? I'm gonna touch it now. What's that, 38, 39? 
So that's with nothing plugged in. Let me show you something. Okay, now look at those nightmare numbers. You know what I just did? I brought a fan that's not even on. This is not even on. And it's vaulting my ass up hard. 493, 454, touching it. 314. Just having anything plugged in. Because think of it, like as soon as I turn this switch on, there's power. So it's constantly drawing power to you. What if I turn it on? You wanna see that? You wanna see those numbers? Okay, here's my numbers just sitting by the fan, off. Here's me touching the off fan, and now we turn it on. Yeah, you see the nightmares. So now let me just show you something. See these numbers? I'm gonna touch my grounding pad. I'm just touching it right now. See that drop? That's dropping like it's hot. Even with the fan on, oh, you stupid light. I have this little sheet here. So this little white cord is plugged into that outlet. Oh God, I'm not even pointing at it. And it works. So these are my numbers. I'm just sitting by the off fan, but it is plugged in. And now hand is going on the mat. Boom. It just sucks all the voltage out of your body. And this like lowers inflammation. It heals a bunch of stuff. It just calms you down. You sleep better. So I have a mat here and a little mat. Well, this is not a mat. It's a sheet. The mat for my desk that my feet are always on. You get the same effect as you would outside. I've measured it now because I always doubted it before. I was like, am I getting any effect? Like I feel something. It feels like I'm being electrocuted. It's not a good feeling. Now I don't feel that because I've tested all my outlets and I can see by science this is getting rid of the voltage in my body and that's a good thing and I feel better. So let's go outside, it's freezing. I don't know if I can even stick that thing in the ground, that damn Canadian frozen ground, but we'll test it and see if my sandals ground me or if I have to touch the earth and socks too. We'll test socks, sandals, and hands on the cement and the dirt. Will the cement ground us? Let's find out. Okay, I could not have picked a colder day. So what we have going on here, this grounding stick is right in the ground, so it's grounded now. And the voltage, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. So I'm gonna touch it now. All right, so we have 160, 170-ish, 200. Okay, what happens? So I'm with sandals right now on the ground. This should dissipate. Yeah, look at that. So cement works. My hand is on the cement, off, no longer grounded. I'm touching the dirt, that's probably why. Right in there, yes it is. Is it working on actual cement? Not really. Oh God, so it doesn't work on cement? It works a little bit, but not what you would think. What about the sidewalk over here? How's that? Oh, that's good. That's good times. Is it all over? Over here too? Yeah, okay. Sidewalk works. Confirmed by science. So now, let's see what happens with cotton. Look at these. Look at this science test. I got a wool sock and a cotton one. Which conducts our lives better? All right, let's do it. Cotton, am I grounded? Not really. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, I wanted to walk the streets in socks. That hurts. That hurts. All right, let's try the wool boy. Okay, moment of truth. Wool. Ah. Kind of? No, not really. Now let's see barefoot. Oh, that's so cold. Oh, so it has to be barefoot. So you can walk the streets, concrete in winter. That's fine. Just do the Wim Hof stuff, even though it will aid you. Ah. So dare we conclude, we learned pretty hard today. That's cool. So we can ground. It's just, if you live in Canada, how are you gonna do that in the winter and avoid frostbite? So I would go barefoot everywhere if I could. I wouldn't be allowed in a shop. Definitely spreads the virus. I don't mind that. Okay, so there are a couple solutions 
if you want to ground yourself and still wear shoes, there's a couple ways to go about it. I'll leave links down below for everything in this video. You could be a murderer and wear moccasins. Leather conducts. I haven't tested it myself, but that's there's grounding shoes and they're moccasins and they're claiming it at least. I would have to do this thing to prove it, but I do believe leather conducts. But you might have to not wear socks because there needs to be some moisture apparently to conduct that electrify yourself. So you could get moccasins. They might not last very long. You need to get like thick hide ones that are oiled, oil tan. I've seen them, they're ugly. So you could do that. Or there are these little devices that you stick on the bottom of your sole. It's like this little metal thing and it goes up, reaches inside your shoe and touches your foot, which I think you can't wear socks, obviously. So these aren't solutions. You can't, you gotta go sockless. Your shoes are gonna smell like a hobo. Hobo's ass. And going barefoot on the street, not only is it dangerous because there's broken glass everywhere, sticks, it's also really slow. It really slows you down because you have to pay attention to every step now. You never know what's gonna happen, so you're super slow. You can't have friends and keep up with them. But it's so beneficial. I'm doing it right now. My feet are on that mat. I feel it. I feel the voltage leaving my body. And I've proved it with science. We learned so much today. I can't believe it. So, what do you think? What are your experiences? Because I watched, I'll leave a link for the documentary I just watched on it. This is what convinced me and my girlfriend, like, yeah, let's do it. Like, all these people are healing things just with this. So, imagine adding this to a healthy diet and meditation. Fasting, oh my god. So, we learned. And you'll thumb up the video, of course. I suppose some people don't believe that our flat earth could heal us, but you would be thumbing the video down because your diet is 90% tomato sauce in a can. You run off aluminum byproducts and bisphenol alloy. That's not, I don't know what BPA stands for, no. So what? That doesn't confirm that I'm dumb. It just means I don't know stuff sometimes. But thank you for buying all this stuff through my affiliate links down below. If this was helpful, and subscribe for more videos.